Hello and welcome to the Team Theme YouTube channel. My name is Coach Matt. And especially welcome to the children from Regis Manor and the teachers from Regis Manor, who are one of the schools that I normally work in. Today we're going to be working on a cricket themed session. What we're going to be working on to begin with, okay, is we're going to be just working on our hand eye coordination. So that's how your hands work with what your brain is thinking about. Okay, for example, when you're working, okay, and you get a ball coming towards you, if your hand eye coordination isn't that good, it might go through your hands, hands might straight through. That's not what we want, okay, and that's something today we're going to be working on. So, to begin with, one thing we always need to do, and everyone who does the session with me knows what we need to do, before we get into working with anything, we need to do our warm up. So, our warm up today, we're going to be working on something very simple, alright? With all we're going to be doing, I want to see five burpees, five star jumps, five push ups, five sit ups. That's all we're going to do to start with, get you nice and warmed up. Okay, you can see today I'm working in quite a small area, alright? So, there is no excuse for you if it's wet, because I know the weather's not been too great at the moment. So, we're going to be making sure we're working well, working quickly, and using that small area, even though we're doing a sport that's normally done on a massive field. So I really want to see you working hard, even if you're inside. So, first off, we're going to start with those five burpees. So burpees, you start with your hands up high, get all the way down to the floor, I'm going to disappear, here I am, back up, and a nice big jump, okay? So you're going to do five of those, so I want you to five with me, okay, ready, set, go. So up, down, disappear, back up, one, down, and back up, down, and back up, two more, down, and back up, last one, down, and back up, okay, next, we're going to move on to five star jumps, okay, so I want to see five star jumps, all we're doing, I'm going to turn this way, alright, so I turn side on, start with our hands inside, get hands nice and wide up, so one, two, three, four, five, okay, brilliant job so far, what we're working on next, is five push-ups. Okay, so remember, you can use your knees if you feel like you'll struggle. So I wanna see, I wanna see your knees on the floor, and I wanna see you really composed when you're keeping those hands all the way locked out, all the way down, all the way locked out, all the way down. All right, so I'm gonna be disappearing from your view again. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so I wanna see those five big push-ups, and now we're gonna work on our last thing, to be our five sit-ups. So what you wanna do, you wanna get down on your bottom, and each time, you wanna put your head and your shoulders all the way back to the floor, try and keep your feet on the floor when you come back up, and push all the way through. Okay, so, I'm going to disappear from your view again in a second. So what's going to happen is, I want those feet flat on the floor, and I want you to lean all the way back, shoulders back onto the floor, and then back up nice and tight into your legs. So, off you go. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, great job on our warm-up there, guys. All right, now we're going to warm these hands up. Don't do anything with your hands. So if you need to pause now and find a ball, so any sort of ball will do. I'm using a soft cricket ball, but you can use whatever you want. You could use a tennis ball, a real cricket ball, because we, but we need to be very careful with something like that. So go and grab a ball and then bring it back. Okay, so you should I have a ball now? So what we're going to start with is something called a figure of eight. So what's, what's going to happen is you start with the ball in front of you, one hand brings the ball back and between your legs. The other hand collects it. Okay, so if I show you, hand underneath, all the way around. Then the other. So you can either do it by lifting your legs like this. So you get your steps up, really working hard. Or, if you, if you find that's a bit of a struggle, you can just bend down, just pass it through. Okay, and if you want to do a little throw, so you can do a little throw. And throw it up and catch each time, okay? 
So you do a little throw, catch and throw each time. All right, so we're gonna go for that. We're gonna try and do 20. All right, so start that ball right by your side. Okay, I'm gonna go through. So I'm gonna show you. We do five of our normal ones. So that's five already. So I need 10 of those actually. Work through those 10. Okay, then I'm gonna get my knees up. So I'm gonna get all the way underneath, passing that ball through. Get those knees up nice and high. Get those knees up nice and high. Nice, very good. Then our last one, what I wanna see? I wanna see that little throw. I want you to be working on that throw underneath your leg and catch. Throw underneath your leg and catch. I really wanna see you focusing on that hand-eye coordination, keeping that ball nice and firmly in your grasp every time. Okay, great job. So, we've got a couple more exercises. Today, our focus is gonna be on fielding, okay? In cricket, there are three different parts. You've got batting, you've got bowling, and you've got fielding, okay? So I know that most of the time, you just wanna be batting and bowling when you're playing cricket, okay? But I'm gonna try and make fielding a little bit of fun for you today. So hopefully, some of you have people there with you who you can be working with. Today, I am working by myself, and some of you may be working by yourselves as well at home. So, what we're going to be doing, you're going to be working with your ball, and we'll be working on that hand-eye coordination again. So, we're going to start. Ball out here, with our fingers pointing. Okay, other hand goes on top. If you're doing this with a partner, what's going to happen is, you're going to drop, the partner is going to drop the ball, you have to take your hand, and catch it before it reaches the floor. If you're working by yourself, you're gonna do what I just did. Fingers out, hand on top. If you wanna try and really challenge yourself, you can put your hand up even higher. So then you've really gotta move and get there to catch the ball in time. So with your hands, maybe start hand midway up, so about straight, out straight. Other hand, almost above your head. So then you gotta, when you release, you gotta get all the way down and catch the ball before it lands on the floor. So, what I want to see, I want to see you challenging yourself. If you want to do this for a little while, if you want to have a go against each other, you can pause this video, but I'm just going to do five or ten with the people who are doing this by themselves, okay? So we're going to have a go, then we'll move on to something else, all right? But I'm really, really, I'm really impressed with if you're working really hard at home, because I know that I am very impressed all the time when I'm in my lessons, because I know that people are working really hard, so I'm hoping you're doing the same at home. So, start with that left hand, hand in front, hand above your head. If you're working by yourself, if you're working with someone, just want your hand on top of the other person's, not quite touching, then you're getting ready to catch the ball underneath. So hand out, hand above, here is drop and catch. Okay. So now we go with the other hand. Just your thumb holding the ball, fingers out, other hand above your head. Ready, set, go. Can you keep that catch going? Okay. Back to our left hand again. So fingers out, hand above your head. Ready, set, go. Okay, good stuff. I hope no one's dropped any yet, but I'm sure some people have. Sometimes it can be a little bit hard to get used to, especially if you're working with someone when you don't know exactly when they're gonna be dropping. This is good stuff though, I'm sure you're working really hard. So, back into our right hand. We're gonna have our hand nice and high above our head. Ready, set, go. You should have caught that. Ideally, we want to be catching these somewhere around our knees. And if you notice, when I'm catching, I don't necessarily just lean forward like this. What I do is I bend my knees as well. Get you nice and low. Okay, the lower your knees are, and the lower your, you stick that bum out, the better you can spring off to catch side to side. Okay? So, really impressed so far, guys. Really, really impressed. If you want to pause this, have a few more goes with whoever you're with, you feel three, okay? But at the moment, we're gonna be moving on to something different for the people at home by themselves. So, our next game. Something very, very simple. All right, you'll all have done this before, and hopefully you've all got a wall to do this against. So, what we're gonna be doing now, we're gonna be taking that whole bent, knees bent, bottom out shape again, and we're gonna be throwing from one hand to the other, okay? So we're throwing from one hand to the other. What I want you to do though, I want you to work through all of our different heights, okay? So we're gonna start with one throw to one another, up high, 
If it comes off the wall a bit funny, you have to catch it with the same hand, that's fine. Alright, so we're trying to keep it above our heads to begin with. Okay, you notice how I'm catching with my hand underneath, making sure I'm catching it, bringing it away. If you bring your hand towards the ball when you catch, you're going to hit it and it's going to make it much harder to catch. So when you're catching, you want to be catching into your body. Catching into your body. Alright, you want to be bringing it towards you. Then we're going to go for our mid level. We're going to be throwing our mid level, so keeping it about your waist height. If you have to catch it again with your same hand, that's fine. It's not a problem. Keep that. See if you can, see how quickly you can do it. Can you speed it up? Can you keep it moving nice and quick? All right. I'm really looking for that speed element when we're doing this. Okay. Very very impressed so far though. Our last one. This is our hardest one. Okay. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to move you guys so you can see this a bit better. All right. When we're catching it here, what we're going to be doing? We're going to be catching nice and low. Nice and low. So I'm going to get nice and low down, and it's going to be almost below my knee height. Keeping it below my knee height. Really get that bottom out, really get those legs down, I'm trying to catch it. If you've got something hard like me, you might even have one or two that bounce on the floor after you've thrown it. And sometimes it might even take a weird bounce and end up bouncing away. That's not a problem, it happens to everyone. Okay, it happens to absolutely everyone. Everyone makes mistakes, but it's how you keep trying. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that effort during our lessons. So, brilliant, brilliant job so far, guys. I'm really impressed. So our last game for today is going to be something slightly different. All right, something you maybe haven't tried before. So this video, something that I really, really feel passionate about. Okay, something that I really feel like could help you during all different sports. Okay, this is something that I really want to see in every sport that we do at Team Thing, okay? And this is about teamwork. If you're working by yourself like me, then that's a bit hard. But if you're working with someone, I wanna see that teamwork, okay? And the idea is, you want to be passing to that teammate and making the passes as easy as you can. If you're working by yourself, I want you to be imagining that these passes are nice and easy to you, okay? So when we're throwing, we wanna be throwing. Keep our hand nice and low, extend, and we want to be releasing about our waist height. If we release higher than that, the ball's going to go up. If we release earlier than that, the ball's going to go too low. So I want to be looking for that mid waist release on our underarm throws. So you're trying to, and if you can, every time you make that catch, I want to see you take one step backwards. I want to see you take one step backwards, both of you. Make it further and further each time. The further back we get, the further back we get each time, we're going to have to be careful of what we do, of what? What we have to be careful of the further back we get. Do we have to throw the same, with the same force, if we're close or if we're far away? No, we don't. So we need to make sure the further away we get, the more force we're throwing with. I don't want to see you though, releasing up here, even if you're far away. Because if you throw it too high, it's just going to go up. It's not going to go and reach where you want to. If you're throwing nice and close, if you're nice and close up here, okay, you want to be throwing nice and soft but still releasing it that way so it reaches at their chests. If you're further back, you want to release it here your waist still, but you want to be putting a bit more force into it and throwing it a bit harder. So, if you're working by yourself, what I want to see, I want to see you starting off, releasing the ball and catching nice and close to the wall. Then I want to see you take a couple of steps back. Making it a bit harder, throwing it a bit hard. If you drop the ball, that's fine. It's more than fine. Lots of practice needed, okay, to get good at something like this. It's so simple, but it's something that will be really, really important when you're working through so many different hand-eye coordination sports. So we're going to have a few goes at that, all right? So I want to see that throwing, releasing at your waist, getting nice extension on your arms, getting ready to catch. When we're catching, remember we're not pushing our hands towards the ball, we're bringing it away. So when we throw, we catch it, we can bring away, catch it, bring away, catch it, bring it in, catch it, bring it in. I really want to see that. So now can you speed it up with your, with your partner or with the wall? Could you maybe challenge yourself by throwing with your opposite hand? So you're throwing with your opposite hand. Can you even do one-handed? Can you try and challenge yourselves with that? Okay, I want to see you guys trying lots of different things. And I want you to send videos in 
to our Facebook or our Instagram pages of you doing all these different exercises. And if you do, we might even see some of them on our pages yourselves. So, brilliant job today guys. I'm really looking forward to seeing all of your submissions on how well you've been doing all these exercises.